we're going to try a fun new technique today using glue, salt, and liquid watercolors. So I'm starting by using my glue bottle and drawing snowflakes all over my black piece of construction paper. Now remember, every snowflake is a little bit different, so don't worry if they don't all look the same. It's actually more fun if they all look different. My basic snowflake is an X with a line through it, but then you can make it a little more fancy by adding some more lines, or maybe dots on the end, or connecting the lines in the middle, like I'm doing right now. Try to fill your whole construction paper with snowflakes. Different size snowflakes are nice too. Some small, some large, and maybe some little snow dots around your snowflakes. Okay, now I'm ready for my salt. So I'm gonna give you a shake of salt in your hand, and then you're gonna use your other hand, the pincher fingers, to sprinkle your salt on each snowflake because you want every snowflake to be covered with salt. And then you're going to shake your paper a little bit to get that extra salt on every flake. You wanna make sure each one has salt on it. So if it looks like some of them don't have enough salt, sprinkle a little bit more. And you can shake again. Great, now we're going to use an eyedropper and our liquid watercolors to color our snowflakes. The really fun thing about the salt is when you drip the liquid watercolor on it, it will travel down your snowflake. So as you can see, I'm dripping a little bit of watercolor on and it's expanding to cover up my snowflake. And you can drip a bunch of different colors on and then watch them blend together. It's a lot of fun. So try and cover your whole snowflake, but you only need a little drip since it will travel. And there you have a beautiful snowflake painting. Have fun.